Chase Sebastian for the Metal Gods Meltdown, and today I had the pleasure to be joined by. Uh, I'm Sam from Velveteen Queen. Um, I'm really happy to be here. It's great to be chatting this evening. Um, first up, though, can you give us some insight into the ideas and inspirations for your band, Velveteen Queen? Uh, yeah, so our biggest inspiration, actually, it, it comes from uh, mostly from Guns N' Roses and Aerosmith. I mean, this whole era from the late 80s and beginning of the 90s rock scene. Excellent. Well, that's my sort of era. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I grew up with Guns N' Roses and everything when they first came out. And, yeah, so I can definitely see the influences there. Um, get a total vibe of Guns N' Roses in your music, actually. You even got the look, man. Down to a T. It's awesome. It's nice to see. 2024. <laughs> yeah. Um, you've recently released uh, Dreamer, which is a bit of a ballad. How yeah. pleased are you with the feedback so far? You know, actually, it's it's pretty crazy because we we released it two days ago, and when I was looking into the views on YouTube today, it's closer to I think it was nine thousand, close to ten thousand soon. So uh, we're really thrilled about all the um, uh, positive feedback that we're getting from it. And of course, you're from Sweden. I've lost count of the amount of bands I've interviewed from Sweden over the years. Sure. I mean. <laughs> What do you put that down to? I mean, you just such a good rock metal scene over there. I know there's tons of great bands coming from Sweden, so uh, we're really proud to be a Gothenburg band. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can imagine. Okay. So, like I said, I love your music. I love your videos. They do take me back to the 80s. Um, yep. MTV was king, and rock and metal music was constantly played. Um, you've definitely put the fun back into music how pleasing is that for you and obviously you're getting a lot of good reviews from media and fans your fan base is growing yeah no it, we we think it's so fun because we started this whole project well i wasn't even in it from the beginning but uh the boys in the band they started it as a uh more like a friends band back mm -hmm. in high school and and then I tagged along, started to sing with them. And I mean, we were, of course, aiming high from the beginning, but uh, it feels like everything is going so fast forward, you know. Uh, we have so many big plans for the future, and uh, it's really lots of hard work to uh, keep going with the momentum. Uh, I'm sure, sure it's going to pay off, mate. Absolutely. Full-blown full album. And what formats will it be released on? Uh, well, at the moment, we're not pretty. We're not sure about the vinyl yet, uh, actually. But uh, we're definitely releasing the whole album on all the major streaming platforms, and then hopefully, uh, hopefully, we can manage to uh, to press a vinyl too. But maybe that's later this year. We'll see about that. Okay, so, so of we course, got, we really want to do. Have we got a confirmed date for album release yet? Yeah, it's twenty uh, seventh of March. Cool. So not too far off now. We're already no, in February. Far off, yeah. Yeah. So there's one more single to go before that, and then it's just then then the album comes out. So we're really excited about that. Cool. So have you guys like managed to get out on tour much, or is that something like you're looking at? Uh, you know, we've been doing mostly. Last year, we actually did our first tour, and and it was uh, as a support act for a Swedish band called Nestor. Uh, and, uh, so th yeah, that was our first tour and, and we toured with them in Sweden and Norway, uh, last spring. Uh, that was just a crazy experience, super fun. And then we, we've done a few festival gigs as well. We've been to, uh, to some Swedish, Swedish festivals playing and that's just super fun. But now this year. We're gonna do even more gigs. We have many cool things planned out. So uh, last year was a warm up, and this year some more stuff is happening. And then we're aiming for yeah, we're aiming for this year and next year, and see what happens. So right. what can we expect from you guys live? And are there hopes to actually get over to the UK? Uh, you know, we we would love to come over to UK. Uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to come over there, but if we get the opportunity, of course, we're coming right away. 
it will be super fun. Uh, but you know, when when you catch us live, it's just a full blown high energy rock and roll show. Nothing weird about it. Just uh, uh, just good old rock and roll. So when you were on the road, who had the most annoying habit? Who's got the most annoying habit? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know about that you know oh, okay you yeah the most annoying habit is probably that uh i'm i'm first to go to sleep because i need to save the voice for the next gig the day after <laughs> so everyone is uh we're going out to the clubs having fun and then i'm like ah it's three o'clock in the morning maybe i should go to sleep now so i can sing tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the most annoying habit in the band i'm not sure but yeah so you're going to be going like a short time, but sort of having the 80s influence, Guns N' Roses, yeah. rap, uh, play guns, et cetera, et cetera. What's the most outrageous thing you've done then so far in the name of rock and roll? Oh, shit. Uh, well, you know, there are many, many stories that could be told. I'm not sure which ones I should tell, but. Uh, there were some pretty, some pretty fun things happening at the at the tour last spring. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm not saying more than that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all yeah. right. Um, three Swedish bands would be your ultimate touring buddies. Oh, shit, that's difficult. Um, I mean, there, as we said earlier, there, there are so many great bands coming from Sweden, and for us, it's been an honor to play. I mean. Uh, Nestor that we toured with this spring, they're they're a Swedish band and we we think they're great, uh, super nice guys as well. So that was really really fun, and we've been playing with Hardcore Superstar as well, another Gothenburg band. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, I have to say that some other Swedish bands that would be fun to play with is definitely. Shit, I don't know, man. Uh, but those two were really fun, and I mean, maybe. We, would be fun to play together with helicopters maybe or or play with um i don't know these all these other gothenburg bands like uh uh halo effect and in, in flames and and those bands but it's also totally different genre so in flames yeah i'm, totally. I'm not sure yes i'm i'm not sure how how that might work <laughs> now, but, uh but yeah i mean we know a few of those guys too so it would yeah. be it would be really fun to to play together with them. You also recently did a Lemmy tribute, didn't you? How was yeah, that? that? Yeah, man, that was crazy fun. Uh, and if I remember correctly, we we actually managed to to um, we got like over a hundred thousand crowns, Swedish crowns, uh, for for the cancer fund. Oh, cool. uh, so that was the whole idea of of this evening to honor Lemmy together with Mickey D and and. And lots of other uh, music musician friends here from mostly from Gothenburg and and uh, I'm so happy that we managed to raise that amount of money to to the cancer fund. That's great. Mm -hmm. And uh, the night was just amazing. Sold out. So many people, uh, many friends they're playing and you know playing playing Motorhead songs is it's a scary thing because they're so well made and. Mm -hmm. There's, there's no way that we can try to, uh, you know, we can't mimic them. No, no, no. they did. So we, we did the the Motorhead songs our way, and it seemed like people enjoyed it. So that was great. Yeah, because there's been like a little bit of footage up on YouTube of it, so some of it looks pretty amazing. So yeah, oh, yeah. is there a Motorhead song you wish you had written? Oh. Uh... And that's a difficult one. All of them, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, literally, I, I'm a big Motorhead fan, and and I love the I love the song. So yeah, I wish I wrote all of them. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. So how was Mickey D? Was was that like an honor to meet him? Or I mean, I, he's a great dude, and I'm I met him many times before actually because we we're hanging out in in kind of the same areas sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but it's always a pleasure to meet him. He's such a humble guy, super fun. Uh, so yeah, I mean, definitely an honor to meet him. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, it was super fun. I mean, he's a great guy. But fun to be a part of that evening. I bet. Yeah, it's an absolute blast. 
Um, so going back in time, what was the first album you ever brought? Oh, um, my first album that I well, my first album that I bought it actually must have been. I think it was Appetite and Youth Revolution. I when I bought my first vinyls, mm -hmm. uh, the first album that I actually fell in love with that I can remember was like I was five years old. I think when I was listening to, to like a, a collector CD with greatest hits from Europe. Okay, I love Europe, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> so all the Europe, man, absolutely yeah. fantastic, man. I love Europe, and yeah. So I fell in love with them when I was around five or six years old. And then that's the first record that I can remember listening to and, and falling in love with rock music. But then as I got older, when I bought my own, uh, my own records, then I think it was, I think it was Appetite and Use Your Illusion. Mm -hmm. Those were my first ones that I bought. Yeah. My first time was Iron Fist, Motorhead. It was my age. Oh, that's a good <laughs> There was a heavy metal song about yourself. What would it be called? If I did one? If there was a heavy metal song about yourself, what would it be called? Oh. Uh. <laughs> this could think came up with the most outrageous thing, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Iron Fist. I don't know. <laughs> 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 that would be pretty badass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My Belgian friend likes to ask this question to musicians. I have some strange answers, right? So if you were a musical instrument, what would you be? Well, I think I would... Um... Man, I don't know. That's the kind of question I've, I've never thought that I would answer. <laughs> but if, if I would have been... I love that question. Uh... I don't know. I mean, I love playing guitar. I was a guitar player from the beginning, so I guess I would be a little fall for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so next one. A bit wacky, these questions now. So, what superpower would you choose for yourself for one day? Uh, oh, that's a cool one. You know, I think I would be invisible. Just snoop around see everything no one knows i'm there <laughs> <laughs> so then can you give me four words to describe velveteen queen um fun guys uh great rock and roll energetic and uh a little bit crazy i'd say yeah <laughs> Good. Okay. There's five questions now. So the first one is vinyl or digital? Oh, definitely vinyl. I prefer that, yeah. Meatballs or beer? I have to. Difficult question to ask a Swede. <laughs> well, I'd have to go with the beer. Yeah. Are you guys saints or sinners? What? Are you guys saints or sinners? I'd have to say sinners. You got to be looking yeah. like looking <laughs> like saints. <laughs> okay. Um, small or small intimate gig? I like small intimate gigs, but then big ones. We're looking forward to the big ones. Uh, but I like the I like the feeling of having the close connection with the crowd. Oh, actually, I've lost this question on here. I was going to ask you about the barrel. So, where was that filmed? Which one? The barrel video you've done, Barrel of a Gun. Where was that filmed? Oh, yeah, it was filmed in uh, a party area, no? It's right. uh, like a sports stadium close to Gothenburg. Looks a lot of fun, man. Looks a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah. Really yeah. Fun. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, cut myself right off there. All right, right so the next one, final one. Tab, sorry. My cat is so annoying. <laughs> Abba or In Flames? Sorry, one more time. Abba or um, in, in Flames? Oh. <laughs> you know, I'd have to. Man. 
I can't choose both, right? <laughs> <Not really now. laughs> uh, okay, even though I love Abba a lot, I had to go with In Flames for sure. All right. So I want to thank you so much for your time today. I'm really looking forward to your album. And like you say, we've got one more single coming out before. Hopefully we'll catch you over in the UK or mainland Europe somewhere. Awesome, man. Awesome. All right. So do you have any final words for your fans, our viewers and listeners? You know, yeah. I mean, for all the crowd in UK, I really hope that if you happen to pass by Sweden this summer, you should definitely come and uh, check us out somewhere if you have the opportunity. So just follow us on our social medias and on our website. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys somewhere. Promises you made echoes inside my head.